Does that work? Yes, it works. Cool. So blank page, but I actually want to start a little bit different. All right. So I have my other webcam on. So check this out. <laughs> so let's try this out. Um, we're all visual learners. So let's learn visually. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me see if I can do this. This is my first time trying to teach Weblo interactions with post-it notes and paper. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get to this. Like what we want to do is we have our regular browser. Let's draw a browser. Mm -hmm. We have a browser right here. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we want a hero row that has a giant image. Sorry. Oh, I need to blow my nose. Ah, okay. We're good. Okay. And then we have a, another row that has a giant image, but in this row right here, Oh, you can't see it. There we go. In this row right here, the center, this is where we want this horizontal scroll to happen. And in that horizontal scroll, we need this part to be a section. So we have three sections, one, two, three sections. And then inside of the section, we want another section. Sorry for the sniffles. Ugh. Okay, we want another section to start here. Let me draw a box. So we want a section to start here, like in the middle of the page, and then move this way. Okay, as we're scrolling down, that's what we're trying to do. And in this box, we need content. So pretend these are my, this is my content. And it's gonna go off to the side. Yeah, like that. Okay, so we need like content in that box. And then it goes, wee like that. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, that's the whole concept. So. How do we do this? There is um, a couple things we need to do. We need to understand position sticky, what you can and can't do with it. You need to understand Webflow interactions. And um, then you need to uh, put it all together. Yeah, those two things. I know relatively easy if you've done this many times, relatively easy if you already understand Webflow interactions. But again, this is for the beginner slash intermediate folks that I'm trying to help get up to speed. So back to the Mac, uh, we're trying to do that horizontal scrolling and I've already uploaded some nice SpaceX photos because what else would I get from the SpaceX Flickr uh, account? Such amazing photos. Sorry I'm getting sidetracked, but it's just so pretty. Anyways, anyways, back on it, Nelson. Come on. All right, so we're going to have three sections. So let's put in three sections. One, copy, paste, paste. One, two, three. Three sections. Done. All right. For this first section, let's make it, um, let's make it a full height. So we're going to call this hero. Gonna call this hero and then we're gonna give it a height of 100 vh and so that takes up the whole viewport height of the of the screen and let's give this a background of pretty yeah we use that okay cool so then we scroll down and let's go ahead and the last section i'm gonna call it last section let's put in another photo and do 100 VH as well. And choose the cover. Pretty, ooh, that, oh yeah, I got a low res. Ah, all right, whatever, it's okay. Keep going. All right, so we have this scroll happening. But what we want is when we get to this one right here, we need to stop it, kind of stop it from scrolling. All right, so here we go. This section, um, let's see here. We're gonna, let me make sure I know what I'm doing in my head. Okay, yeah. So let's just add padding to the top and bottom. 
I'm gonna add like say 120. 120 is good. Come on, there we go. 120. And then we have 120. And then in here, let's go ahead and put another div. So command uh, command or control E div. We have this div block. All right. So this div block, this is what's going to make this section tall. So we're going to push it down. We're going to set this. We're going to set the selector. We're going to call it scroll track. Okay, so this is what's going to make this tall. And the height of this, you can choose any number you want. I usually start out with like 500 VH. Okay, so 500 VH. And now we have like a long section. The height is 500 and this is what makes this thing tall. Okay. All right. So we have our scroll track right here. Now in the scroll track, I need to make this position relative. Okay. So I'm going to go here, set this position relative. The reason why is because a child element within it is going to do that pinning, that sticky thing. So that sticky needs a parent, a parent that's relative. All right. So this is the parent. And now I'm going to command or control E, put another div. And in this div right here, this is what's going to be moving. Uh, wait, no, this is what holds the, um, wait, hold on. Yeah, this is what's going to hold the actual content. So it's boxes within boxes. I hope I'm doing this right. Oh yeah, okay, so this is the position sticky. So I'm just gonna call this sticky. And we'll set it to position sticky. And we also need to set this to zero. Whoops, sorry. Set this to zero. Okay, the top position to be zero. Now let's color this blue just for now, just so I can demonstrate what's going on. Why is it transparent? There we go. Cool, whatever. All right, so when I scroll up and down, watch, boop, it sticks to the top. And then when I scroll down beyond it, it goes away. And that's why you need position relative before sticky. Moving on. All right, so we have this sticky. And now also this sticky needs an overflow of hidden. Okay. You cannot use overflow with any of the elements above sticky. You cannot set overflow hidden to any elements above uh, sticky. So what I mean is right here, this sticky has overflow hidden. That's okay. But if scroll track section or body, any of its parents, okay, this one, this one, or this one, if they have overflow hidden, your sticky will not work. All right. So if you're ever like, how come sticky doesn't work? Check your overflows. You cannot have overflow hidden on any of the parents. Cool. Now that our sticky works, we can add content in it inside of it. So I'm going to delete this background color for now and let's add some content. So let's go ahead and use a div to add a div. And let's call this flex because I want to set this to flex box. Okay. And I like everything the way it is. That's cool. So let's put in our images. I'm going to image there and let's set this to, um, well, let's see here. Will everything fit? Why is it stretching? Oh, because flex is, 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 yeah. Okay. That's what flex does. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Okay. All right. So say we, let me put one more image or two more. Yeah. Come on. There we go. 
and we don't see that image is okay. It's on purpose. Okay, so our things are sticking still. That's good. Okay, and now for this flex, what I want to do is I want to set this to to go further. So just like this, I want more pictures. I want to keep going. But flex is squishing it so that it'll fit the, the canvas. It's trying to squish as much as it can. That's what it's supposed to be doing. That's fine. But we got to tell flex, we got to tell that flex box div, hey, it's okay, go further. And so what we want to do is set that width to the same height as our scroll track. So our scroll track is, our scroll track is using height 500 VH. So let's go ahead and set the width of that flex to be the same thing, width 500 VH. Okay, so now, is it, is this still skewed? Let's see here. Let me remove the overflow hidden on sticky. Hold on. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Ooh. Uh, I think I need to set these to, Ooh. no, I want you to be a hundred percent of your, oh no. Should I have used grid instead? Uh, I don't want you skewed. I think it's because of this. Yeah, it's because of that. All right, that's fine. That's what I want. And let's set these all to... Let me see here. Image. Sorry, going a little bit off track. I'm just trying to figure out something right now. Hold, please. Am I doing it right? No. <laughs> oh, it looks bad. Uh, undo everything. That's a lot of space. Okay. Um, we'll keep going. Should have, hold on. Should this been a grid instead? Uh, I don't know. What is life? <laughs> we'll just leave it like that for now. We, we will have a horizontal scrolling. Okay, well, back on it. <laughs> okay. Um, what, hold on. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so here we go. This flex right here, I set that width to be a 500 VH. Same thing as a scroll track, okay? And this sticky, I turned off overflow. That way I can do a manual horizontal scroll. So I'm using my horizontal scroll wheel on my mouse. This is not what you want to happen, but this is just to make sure I can, I can see what's uh, happening off the canvas, okay? And now if I do overflow hidden, I can't scroll left and right with my mouse wheel. That's fine, that's what we want. So we're having like this mask, masking effect. What we want is this flex right here to do this. We want to move left and right as we scroll down. But we're not gonna use this styles panel. We're going to use, uh, we're going to use the Webflow interactions. Flex, we wanna move you, but how? So our section is set up. We have our body, we obviously, and then we have our three sections, all right? And then this middle section, we have a scroll track that is 500 VH. We have our sticky that has position sticky and overflow hidden. And then we have our actual content that we want to move left and right. And I'm using flex. You can use display inline, you can use grid, use whatever you want here. Um, but yeah. All right, let's do this. So I want to affect the scroll track. So this is going to have the trigger. So this is going to trigger and I want to affect flex. So scroll track will affect flex. So I'm going to go to interactions right here. And while scrolling in view, 
play scroll animation plus and here we go we'll call this um horizontal scroll effect up there and now uh we're selected on scroll track but we want to affect flex so i'm going to click flex press plus move so i've chosen the move right here and for a hundred percent actually yeah for move we got it there and then for the x right here we're going to set this to zero percent and then at a hundred we're going to set this to fifty percent Okay, nope, not 50. Let's go the other way. We'll go 45%, like that. And so if I preview, we have a horizontal scrolling section. Okay, it happens too early, so what I can do is I can move this a little bit later. Okay, so if I scroll down, stick, move. Actually, it should stick right about here so we'll do 17 instead of 27 and there we go we have horizontal scrolling super simple all right so that's the first part um okay moving on next part how to make this uh responsive Mm. Okay, so if I go to tablet, things still work. Okay, but things get cut off. See how my percentage, see how that gets cut off? Like, I don't even get to see the Falcon 9 land by that point on tablet. So things can get cut off. And so what I've learned is... Just make it simple. For desktop, you get the full experience, but for mobile, just make it simple. Turn off horizontal scrolling. Just stack everything, all right? So this is what I mean. For interactions, turn this off for anything below tablet. So, I mean, anything for tablet on down. So turn off, turn off, turn off. Okay, and then for your flex, you can just say vertical. Okay, and then for these photos, we're going to set them to 100% width. Oh, and we got to make sure that this flex right here, the width of it is 100% instead of VH. And there we go. So for people who are saying... Um, Horizontal scrolling for mobile. Yeah, you can do it, but things get tricky when you're sizing things. And I'm like, you know what? Just make it simple. Stack the things. And so preview and it works. Oh, we got to turn off sticky too. So go to sticky and set this position back to static. And that's it. Just make it simple. I mean, for, oh, that's scroll track, too. It needs to be a height of auto. There we go. There we go. Make it simple. Because, like, when it comes to mobile, especially mobile, you kind of want to just consume the information faster. The user experience is, I'm on mobile, I want to consume something faster because I need to get on with my day. But if someone is actually on their computer, it, they usually have more time to do stuff. Like, okay, let me experience this whole design, cool. But if you're on mobile, you're probably waiting in line for a cup of coffee.